Now we are back for phase two. And we start as always with the disassemble to have an idea of which kind of um, workflow we need. And this time we have a bit longer kind of function. And first we have these call to read six numbers and then we have explode bomb multiple times, not only one. And until we have this return, if we do not jump to this another call. So what we are going to do is have a look into the read six number function. So we are going to use the lnb command to disassemble the function read six numbers. And as you can see, something is happening here that it's allocating the six numbers. So probably it's expecting us to input six numbers. And if some of the checks here are not okay, it's going to call our pop. So this time we get to use the hooks that we just had in the last session. And what we we'll do here is create a SIM procedure, as I said before. And these, these are kind of classes with a function that is self-defined and it's going to be used to be added or override some other functions inside the binary. So what we are going to do is to substitute this read six numbers function with our own uh, six numbers uh, kind of function that it's going to be used probably into phase two. So we have this read six numbers that it's going to define some kind of structure that it's going to be further used here. So in our read six numbers function, we are going to have ints and these ints are going to be bit vectors that are symbolic because we don't know which kind of uh, numbers we have, right? And these are going to be then array with six. And you can return anything you want. I just return two because it's the phase two. So after defining this function, what we can do is try to define the relevant addresses, as I said before. So now that we have our better function, we need again to find the phase two address. And this is going to be the base address plus Again, the call to phase two. So we can go uh, back to the main function and see that the phase two is called in the offset 14C6. So that's what we are going to use there. So this is going to be base address 14. C6 and we also need um, the address of the function that we want to hook. So this is going to be the read six numbers address, and this is base address plus the offset that we can see in the call here. So here we go, it's one C. 11. This is the read six numbers uh, function. So we can go here and have the address 1C11. We also need a target for anger. And what's important to know here in this case is we need two targets. 
because we have here our export bomb inside the read six numbers and we have export bomb also in the phase two function so what we are going to do is to define first a target uh, for the function to a that it's going to be base address close and then we can go to phase two and see which address do we want to reach and this would be first we want to come back from the read six numbers and not jump to the 15FG because this would be the export bomb. So this is the first export bomb that we have. So what we want is one line after 15F3. So this is going to be our first target. So base address 15F3. And the second one, the target to B is going to be base address and we want something after now like after we this time we got we avoided the read six numbers export bomb and we want to go until the end and this would be the return so we really want to reach the return so we can diffuse the bomb and this is 1633 this is our final goal so we can set here for 1633 so now we have everything we need uh, for our recipe we're using hooks so now we can add our hook and this is very simple we have we add a hook to our project and we are hooking the read six numbers address and we are going to substitute this with the read six numbers function so it's hooked now so we can actually run our simulation now so we do it as we already know we have i state and this is going to be the blank state again and we are going to use an as an address the base two we are going to use something called remove options and we are going to remove the lazy source we can explain it later it's just because it takes too long otherwise and now that we we have a state we can start a simulation manager uh, with our state that we just created and we are going to let it run for as long as we need to get uh, an answer so we can do it just like we had before we run this as long as there is um, a lot of active states and we try to find the first target so we can use explore and we are going to use as a find the target to a 
We are going to avoid the bump. So running it is going to take a while again, but we're not. We are going to cut it off. So we are back and let's see what Anger found. We are going to analyze now all of the states that were found during the first search. And for each one of them, we are going to simulate again which of the first rounds will lead us to the uh, final return. To do that, we can just iterate through the states that were found before. So first we create a new simulation. And we use the state that we have um, in found. And then we explore. The new exploration is going to try to find the second target, so target 2B. And of course, it's going to avoid the bomb. And if we found something, so if in this case there are some state as that um, Inga classifies as found, we should have our flag. So let's run this second search. And this one is very fast. Uh, what we need to do now is get our value. So this is going to be the flag number two. And we are going to do so very well, as we already know. And we want to get all the inches that we found, like the six numbers, right? Maybe I can just bring the flag so we have an idea what we got. So as you can see, we have six ends. We already stored it. So let's store it in inner file. And again, we can test it uh, with our binary. Just to be sure that we have the right flag. So we can do um, exercises. We see um, and we pass the um, Flex binary, and as you see, we get again the first one that we diffused and the second one. 